Happy New Year! Welcome back to my channel! I cannot believe it is 2017. And I say that with a sigh of relief. 2016 was quite the year, not just for me, but for a lot of people that I know. So I'm really excited for 2017. I've got a lot of exciting things in the works and I'm definitely going to be sharing them with you guys along the way. But something amazing to come out of 2016 was beauty. There were so many amazing new beauty products, collaborations, events. It was an amazing year for the beauty industry. So in this video, I'm going to share my 2016 best of makeup. Now I'm going to go through each category and share my favorite drugstore product and my favorite high-end product. So that way, depending on your budget, you can shop which one suits you best. Now the way I'm going to share my favorites is via order of application. So for those who watch my makeup tutorials, you already know the drill, but for those who don't, I'm going to list all the categories and products down below with the time next to each category. That way, if there's a particular category or product you're more interested in, you can just fast forward to that point and watch from there. So before any makeup application, I like to cleanse, hydrate, and give my skin a spritz with my favorite facial mists. Now, I have quite a big facial spray collection, but there were definitely two standouts in 2016. Now, the first one, which is meant to fall into the drugstore category, isn't a drugstore product, but for the price and the value and the quality of the product, I felt it was definitely worth a mention. And that's the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs and Rose Water. Now, I use this spray every single day. I use it in the morning when I wake up, I use it throughout the day, and I use it before I go to bed at night. I just love the way it makes my skin feel, and especially through summer, it gives it an extra boost of hydration to make it feel really fresh and really clean, and I love it. Now, again, it's not drugstore. The bottle starts at $9, and this larger bottle is $17 at Mecca, but I've had this bottle for just under 12 months, and I'm all only three quarters of the way through it. Considering I use it every single day, probably three or four times a day, I think it's just really great value for money. And if you have the chance, definitely give it a go. Now, the next product is the high end, and I'm pretty safe to say that I've almost finished the bottle. It's the Jellique Rose Water Balancing Mist. And again, it's just a beautiful, beautiful spray. It smells divine. Everything in their range does. So I wasn't surprised that I fell in love with this straight away. It's just really nice. And it just makes my skin feel really balanced and refreshed and ready to start the day. Now, my favorite high-end facial spray is the Rose Water Balancing Mist from Jalique. Now... This just smells amazing. I love anything rose scented. So this just smells divine, like everything else in their range, really. I've just finished mine, so I'm definitely going to have to pick up another bottle. But this one I particularly like to apply before I apply my makeup. Whereas with the other one, I would just apply it randomly throughout the day or barefaced or it didn't matter if I was going to wear makeup or not. This one I kind of save more so when I am going to do my makeup. It just makes my skin smell amazing and feel really balanced and refreshed. Now, before I apply foundation, I like to apply a primer to my base. And my favorite drugstore primer for 2016 was the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. Now, I really liked that this was such a lightweight formula. It went on really smoothly. I'll just show you now. And it just blended really beautifully into the skin. It offered a bit of hydration, but not too much. And the packaging claims it lasts up to eight hours. And I personally found that it did. I thought it was a really nice way to prep the skin before applying my foundation. Now, my favorite high-end primer is from It Cosmetics. And it's the Feel the Moment Primer Serum. Now, this is different to your normal primer cream. And a little bit definitely goes a long way. For a makeup look, I would apply one to two drops onto my face and neck and then just thoroughly massage it in. 
it just creates a really nice smooth base it also con contains some really amazing minerals and nutrients it contains vitamins a c and e avocado deep ocean water caviar extract all those amazing things going into your skin before applying makeup which i'm a true believer that everything starts from the base if you have a really nice prep base then your makeup application is going to look flawless and I find that this really really works and makes my skin feel so good before I apply any makeup. Now depending on what kind of makeup look I'm creating will kind of depend on the order in which I apply foundation. So if I'm doing like quite a heavy eye look which might have some glitter or different pigment I'll generally do my foundation afterwards so that way I can wipe away any fallout and have a really nice clean base to work with. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to share my foundations now and my favorite drugstore foundation was the Rimmel Freshest Skin Foundation. Now this came out in the later part of 2016 and I have just found it to be such a great everyday foundation. It contains an SPF of 15. It's a really lightweight formula. I generally just dab a few dots all over my face and then blend it out with a damp beauty blender. And then for some of the problem areas, such as like my cheeks where I get a bit of redness, I'll apply a little bit more, blend it out, and I'm good to go. I just think it's a really great formula. Obviously very accessible from, you know, Woolworths, Priceline, Chemist Warehouse. And it comes in, I think, six or seven different shades. I just love it. I think it's a really great formula great price point and one I will continue to wear on the daily. Now my favorite high-end foundations hands down would have to be the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations. Now I love both of these formulas for different reasons. The first one is the liquid formula and I love this because it is lightweight but it has an amazing coverage which is buildable. So I just dab a few dots all over my face blend it out with a damp beauty blender and for any problem areas like my cheeks where I get a bit of redness I'll just dot a couple more on blend them out and I'm good to go it's really perfect for every day then the stick foundation I always lean towards if I'm doing more of a glam makeup look and I want a heavier coverage but without it feeling heavy I use this all the time I like to apply it just in stroke motions all over my face and neck and then I get an oval blending brush and just blend it all out. It's a really great coverage. It covers everything, any blemish, any spot, any dark circles, it's gone. Um, I think it's a really great product for that. And the other great thing I love about Makeup Forever is the color range that they have. They are a professional makeup brand and from the palest color through to the darkest color, they have everything in between. I think that's really important because there's a lot of brands out there that don't have a huge color selection and I don't think that anyone should have to miss out on trying a product or you know having those products accessible to them purely due to the color range not being large enough. So I think they do this really well and I will definitely be continuing to use this throughout 2017. <music> Now when I'm shopping for a concealer, I like one that has great coverage and conceals any blemishes or darkness from around my eyes. And in 2016, my favorite drugstore concealer was definitely the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. And the reason I love this is because it is also a color correcting concealer. So it definitely gets rid of any darkness from around my eyes. And I found that a little bit really does go a long way. I just like to place a couple of dots under each eye. I'll then blend it out either with a damp beauty blender or I just like to use my fingertips because kind of like the warmth from your finger really helps to melt the product and blend it seamlessly into the face for a really nice flawless finish. Now my favorite high-end concealer for 2016 would have to be the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Range. Now. I thought that Kat Von D did an amazing job on this collection. It came in 21 different concealer shades, including a white shade, which is perfect for makeup artists. You can mix it in with any other concealer or foundation product just to get that very specific color that you're looking for. And they also came in warm, cool, and neutral tones. So you can really get the right one to suit your skin. 
I got it in the L13 Cool, which is the one I use for every day. And I also got it in L9, which is the neutral shade, which I use to brighten under the eyes and high points of the face. But what I love most about these concealers is the applicator. So it is a doe foot applicator. I find that it just picks up just the right amount of product and it really evenly um, places it around the eyes, which is really good. And it's soft, so it's not too harsh because especially under the eyes, it's such a delicate area. It just goes on really smoothly. And again, you can just blend it out with your favorite beauty blender or with your fingers. Now, when it comes to setting powders, I couldn't choose a favorite drugstore and a favorite high end because I've really only been using one translucent setting powder for the last 12 months, and that is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I use this on myself, I use it on my clients. It is just such a beautiful formula. It's lightweight, you just get a fluffy brush, tap it over your face, and it locks in that look all day, all night. I also love using it to bake under my eyes and under my contour. It just really helps to define and brighten the areas, but I can't fault this product. It's just perfect. It also comes in a smaller tub, so if you want to try it out, you can get the smaller one first, but hands down, probably one of the best on the market. Speaking of contour, my favorite drugstore contour kit would have to be the Revlon and Chloe Morello Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. This has exceeded all of my expectations. I have a favorite contour palette I use, but this one I had to try. And it was mostly because I knew that Chloe was involved in the process of designing, you know, the formula and the shades and just knowing how beautiful her makeup always looks and how flawless it is. I knew she wouldn't be putting something out there with her name on it, which she didn't truly believe in. So that's why I had to purchase it, but it has not let me down. It comes in two different shades. It's light medium, which is this one here, and medium dark. It has the banana powder, the highlighter, bronzer, and sculpting powder. And the formula is just beautiful. It blends so nicely um, onto the skin, and it creates a really nice, healthy contour and glow. I think this palette is really good for anyone who wants to try contouring, who is a little, maybe doesn't have a lot of confidence in doing it or just wants to really try it out. It's a great price point and amazing formula, so it's really good to work with. Now, my favorite high-end contour palette would have to be the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is just an incredible sculpting palette. You've got three of your sculpting shades above and the three contour shades underneath. The formula is just so creamy and blendable. Again, it's not like a muddy finish. It gives you like a really nice natural contour without being too heavy. Um, definitely buildable shades as well. And what I love most is that they've just released the pans and the palette so you can buy them separately. So if there's a particular shade you use more often, you can just buy that one and replace it as you need it. This one I've had for a while, so it doesn't have that ability, but when I need to replace it, I'll definitely be getting that one. Asking me to choose my favorite highlighter is like asking someone to choose their favorite child. I love highlighters so much. It is my favorite part of any makeup look because I just love the, the glow and the shine that it just helps transform that look to a new dimension. And my favorite drugstore highlighter would have to be the Scout Cosmetics Illuminate Powder. I just think that this is such a beautiful formula. It's a loose powder, so it creates a really nice natural glow rather than being too intense like some other highlighters, which I do like, but for every day, I just think this is such a perfect formula. Now for my high-end highlighter, it'll come as no surprises that it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, in particular the shade Rose Quartz. Now, this is just the most beautiful highlighter I have ever used in my life. 
I am obsessed. I thought I loved the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop highlighter. No, this, this is my favorite of all time. I love it. Um, I put it over the high points of the face and you can really build it up. So I like to intensify it for those glam looks and I'll just use a fan brush and just, you know, wipe it over the high points of the face. But if I want to get my glow on, this is my girl. Another way to achieve a beautiful healthy glow is using liquid illuminators. Now I like to use them by mixing them in with my foundation for an all over glow or by just dabbing them onto the high points of the face for that nice highlighted effect. But the rule is generally don't apply cream on top of powder. So I would apply this after I've applied my foundation and then put the powder on top or else it can end up looking muddy and patchy and it can like start to lift the powdered product and it's not going to make for a nice flawless makeup look. So that's just a tip to keep in mind. Now my favorite drugstore liquid illuminator would have to be the Rimmel Good To Glow and I have it in the shade 001 Nodding Hill Glow which is a beautiful pinky light illuminator but it also comes in a more golden shade as well. I've compared this one to the likes of the NARS Copacabana. I just think the pigmentation is incredible and it's buildable as well. So you can make it as light or as intense as you'd like. Now my favorite high-end liquid illuminator would have to be the Benefit Cosmetics High Beam. Now again, I know this is more suited to my skin tone. Um, I am quite pale. But for those with a darker complexion, you'll probably want to lean more towards something more golden. But this, for me personally, is a gorgeous product. Apart from the formula, I love the brush. It just makes it so easy to dot it over the high points of the face. And then I just like to blend it out using my fingertips. It just really creates a nice, flawless finish and shine. Now, I like to add some warmth and depth to the face using a bronzer. And my favorite drugstore bronzer would have to be the one inside of the Revlon and Chloe Morello Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. Now, as I mentioned before, this has a banana powder, illuminator, contour powder, and also a bronzer. But I find that this one is just the perfect shade for my skin tone. It's not too dark. It's not orange. It doesn't make my skin look muddy. It's just a really nice, seamless finish. My favorite high-end bronzer would have to be Cult Classic Hula from Benefit Cosmetics. I don't know many beauty bloggers or beauty fiends who aren't obsessed with this bronzer. It is such a beautiful formula. It blends so nicely onto the face. It isn't orange. It doesn't create any muddiness. It's just such a perfect bronzer for every day. And I love how it all comes within this cute little box and contains a brush as well, which makes application super easy. And it's the perfect size for on the go. To add some color to the apples of the cheeks, I like to reach for my favorite blush. And my drugstore blush of choice would have to be the Bourjois blush. Now, these are the most adorable little compacts that I've ever seen. They come with a brush, so you can sweep it easily over the apples of the cheeks. They have a little mirror inside, and they're just the most perfect little pan. But they also smell, they're rose-scented, so I just love that. I think they smell so beautiful. This particular one is number 16, Love Struck Rose. It's kind of more of a peachy pink color, which I've been reaching for more so last year, the peachy tones, but it's just such a beautiful blush and the range comes in so many different shades, so it's perfect for everyone. Now my favorite high-end blush of choice would have to be Luster from NARS, which is this one here within the Stephen Klein palette. Now you can also buy it separately, so you don't need to get this palette to get that particular shade. But it is the most beautiful, shimmery, peachy blush I have ever used. I am obsessed. I'm wearing it on my cheeks at the moment. And I just think it creates a nice, healthy-looking coloring without being too pink or too golden. It's just a really nice, natural shade, which can work on so many different skin tones. Now for everybody's favorite part. 
eyeshadow. So my favorite eyeshadow palette from a drugstore would have to be the Rimmel Magnifies palette in the shade Keep Calm and Wear Gold. This one is just such a beautiful mix of matte and shimmery tones. Um, this is my personal favorite. I know it comes in other color variations, but this one is such a beautiful palette. The pigmentation of these shadows is so good. And I love that you can either just stick to the matte shadows for like a really nice natural look, or you can just intensify the look by adding some of the golden shades. So this is definitely one of my favorite drugstore palettes for last year. Now choosing my favorite high-end eyeshadow palette was so hard. I have so many favorites and I bought a lot of palettes last year, but if I had to choose only one, it would have to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. It's a really beautiful warm palette, but with nice pops of pink and crimson as well. I used it to create the eye makeup look I'm wearing today and I just, I love it. The quality is so good as well. I have a few of their other palettes prior to this and the pigmentation of these shadows far outweighs the pigmentation of the others. I don't know what they did differently, but this is just such an amazing palette. Um, I love that it has some shimmery tones and matte tones. I've used some of the shimmers on the inner corner here. Um, you can also add them to the lid to add more dimension. But hands down, this palette is going to be a favorite for a very long time. I am always on the hunt for a liquid eyeliner, which is going to trump my holy grail favorite, which I will share shortly. But from a drugstore, my favorite would have had to be the Bourjois Slim Liner. Now, this one has a felt tip. And I personally felt that the tip was quite flexible, so it was good to give that flick and get really close to the lash line. Um, it was just a really nice formula. There's not much I can say about it because I always reach for my Holy Grail one before I reach for any other. But if I had to choose a drugstore favorite, this one would have to be it. Now, for those who are regulars on my blog and my channel, this will come as no surprise to you that my favorite liquid eyeliner of all time is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. This is the best eyeliner in the world. I have never found an eyeliner which is better than this. And if you know of one, definitely let me know below because I'm always on the hunt. But this particular one, I find that the tip is so perfect. It creates a beautiful wing. It gets really close to the lash line. It has a really nice buildable formula so you can have as a thinner line or as thick a line as you like and I just find that I have really good control when using this I don't know why I have struggled with other liquid liners but this one will always be my holy grail unless you can prove me otherwise this is the best <music> I'm also going to share my favorite pencil eyeliner with you as well. And for drugstore, it would have to be the designer brand's Eye Coal Pencil. And I love this specific one for two reasons. One is because it has a built-in sharpener, which means I never have to hunt around for my sharpener, which I always seem to misplace. And it's just a general pencil liner, but I just think it works so well, especially on the waterline and it smudges out really nicely as well. So I've been using this one a lot. My favorite high-end eyeliner would have to be the Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner in black. I think I got this in one of the Sephora Loyalty Birthday boxes. I, I love it. I think it's the perfect size, even as a mini and it has a retractable mechanism, so you can wind it up or down as much as you like. I like to use it within my waterline mainly, um, but you can also use it on the lash line, and because it is the gel, it does blend out really seamlessly, so this is definitely my pick for favorite high-end eyeliner pencil. Now to get those long voluminous lashes, you have to apply mascara and my favorite drugstore one would have to be the Bourjois Push Up Volume Glamour Mascara. Now it was quite a tough call for the drugstore mascaras because I have a lot of favorites. I like the ones from Rimmel, 
CoverGirl Lash Blast is another favorite, but this one here just really helped me create amazing volume. And the wand is definitely to thank for that, as well as the formula, which kind of gave me that really nice full lash that I look for, but it also made my lashes a lot darker as well, which I really like. Even though I have quite dark lashes, this just added that intensity. Now, my high-end mascara is a bit of a controversial one. I know not everybody loves it, but it is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, I understand why people might not love this straight away, because I didn't either. I used to go in store with the intention of buying it, but every time I went in, the tester looked clumpy and messy, and to be honest, it was a turn-off, and I never purchased it. But I ended up getting a little mini within my Mecca Beauty Loop box, and so I had the chance to try it, and I fell in love. It is my all-time favorite mascara now. I couldn't imagine life without it. I love it. And other than the great formula, I think it's the brush which really does it for me. The brush is like that hourglass shape wand and it tapers in the middle, but I really find that it just gets to the root of the lash and really grabs on to create that length and volume that you're looking for. I love really full voluminous lashes and this gives it to me every single time. I am wearing it today um, as well as fake lashes of course, but I just love using it. I don't get any transfer or any... Um, smudging under my eyes. I think it's just an amazing product and it will continue to be a favorite for a very long time. Fake lashes are the perfect way to add lash drama and take your look to the next level. They will take your look from zero to 100 basically. Without lashes, my eyes feel almost naked, especially when I go out, but adding a pair of lashes just transforms your whole look, especially if you're a bride. If you're not really sure of lashes or if you're not comfortable, get someone to put individual lashes on you because you will barely notice that they're there. You won't feel them as much as you might a bar lash and that will literally just open your eyes and make them pop so much more. But for my favorite drugstore lashes for 2016, I'd have to choose the Ardell Demi Wispies. Now, this pair has been worn a couple of times now, which is why they're not as in shape as they would be new, but they are my favorite. I think they're just such a nice, beautiful, natural lash. Uh, they're tapered in at the middle, so you have the fullness on the outside, and the thin lash band makes them really easy to apply. So. Without doubt, Ardell Demi Wispies are my favorite drugstore lash. Now my favorite high-end lashes I love to splurge on are the Velua lashes. Mm -hmm. Now these are 100% real silk lashes and this particular style I think is perfect for every day. It's more of a natural look, but they definitely have more voluminous, glamorous styles available. Now again, I find them really easy to apply, probably because of the, the thinner lash band but I also find them really lightweight and comfortable. I barely know I'm wearing them. And even though they're expensive, if you take care of them, you can wear them up to 20 times. So if you space that out over the, the life of the lash, you're kind of getting really good value for money. So I never hesitate to pick up a pair of these to have available. I generally wear them more when I go out rather than every day but I just find them super easy to apply and really comfortable. Brows are such an essential part of any makeup look. I think that sometimes they're overlooked and one done right can frame your whole face and just take your makeup look to the next level. So for drugstore, I like to use the Ardell Mechanical Brow Pencil. And this has a spoolie on one end and the mechanical pencil on the other, which is kind of at an angle. So you can really help define and, you know, especially get that defined tail and fill in the body of the brows. I think this is a really great formula. It's not too waxy and it kind of just smoothly goes on and I like to go in first with the pencil and then with the spoolie to blend it out and really even out the shape and the look of my brows. 
Now my favourite high end brow pencil would have to hands down be the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit Cosmetics. It was really hard to choose because Benefit re-released their whole brow collection this year and every product is amazing. You have Cabrow, Brow Pomade, Brow Gels, Brow Pencils, everything you need for amazing brows they have tailored and just done such a great job on and I love it. I just think they've done an incredible job at really refining what we need in brow products. But the reason I love the Precisely My Brow is, again, it has the spoolie on one end and on the other we have the mechanical pencil. But it's just a fine pencil which really allows you to kind of feather in more of a natural brow look and just for that precision. I just think it's the perfect shape and size and I also find this color perfect as well. I think this is number three, no, number four. Um, it's just a great um, pencil and I also love the packaging. This one's kind of shaped like a bit of an arrow which I think is super cute but again, just true to form, Benefit have really smashed it out of the park with this collection. I love using a clear brow gel to hold my natural brows in place and keep my brows lasting all day. And my drugstore clear brow gel would have to be the Australis Lash and Brow Extender. Now it's pretty straightforward, basically it's a spoolie brush which you just take through your brows and use to tidy up any of your natural or unruly brow hairs. I like this one because it is cheap and affordable and easily accessible and it really does the trick. So my favourite high-end brow gel of choice would have to be the Benefit Cosmetics Ready Set Brow. Now this will come as no surprise because I've already gone on about how much I love their new brow collection. But what I particularly love about this one is the rubber wand and I love using this to get through the brows but also using the tip to really define the tail of my brow. I just think this works really well and helps to get that precision I'm looking for. And it's a really nice light formula. Now onto lips. Before I apply any lipstick or liquid lipstick, I like to line my lips, not only to fill the lips, but to stop any lipstick from bleeding and also to sculpt and define the lips. By using different shades of liner to lipstick and vice versa, you can create the illusion of fuller lips, which I really love, especially because mine aren't too full naturally. But my favorite lip liner from a drugstore would have to be the NYX Retractable Lip Pencil in Vanilla Sky. This is just a very natural nude liner. I like to use it more so for every day and because I wear a lot of nude lipsticks. But I find that this formula really glides on nicely and keeps my lipstick in place. My favorite high-end lip liner would have to be the Too Faced Perfect Lips Liner. And I hate to say it, but I think this is being discontinued. I've looked everywhere for it lately because I know that I'm going to run out soon and I cannot find it anywhere. I think this formula is just so perfect. It glides on smoothly. This particular color, which is perfect nude, is literally my perfect nude. I cannot find another liner which suits my lips and I guess my lip collection so perfectly. But if you happen to know of anywhere that still sells this, can you please let me know below? I would love to find it. I will do anything to get more of these. I love it so much. My favorite drugstore lipstick bullet would have to be the Rimmel by Kate Lasting Finish in the shade 54 Rock and Roll Nude. Now this is just the perfect nude shade for me. I love it so much. It's super creamy, it glides on, and I think we all died a little when we saw the rose gold packaging. You know, rose gold is just so on trend and everywhere at the moment. So it looks beautiful on the vanity or in your beauty space. It's just a really luxe, gorgeous casing. And it is affordable. And so I don't feel bad using it every day. I have one in my bag at all times. I have one in my beauty room. I always have one as a backup just because it is affordable and it is such a great product. 
My favourite high-end lipstick bullet, hands down, would have to be the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick Collection. Now, I don't have a particularly favourite shade, only because I have quite a few, but the one I'm wearing today is called Naked, and it is the cream formula. What I love about this is not only the colour, it's my typical pinky nude, which I lean towards. It has the UD embossed in the bullet, but it's the different formula variations they released for this collection. So this one here is the cream, but you can also get a sheer, a shimmer. There's like six different variations of the formula. So you can really get the one which will best suit you. This is definitely a collect them all collection. I'm definitely going to be buying more and can see them running as favorites for this year as well. Now onto liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks are so popular now. There are so many different brands and formulas, but what I always look for in a good liquid lipstick is a long lasting, non-drying formula. I don't like it when I feel like the life has been sucked out of my lips and they feel like chapped and cracked and dry. But if you get a good formula, a liquid lipstick will not feel like that. My favorite drugstore liquid lipstick would have to be the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets. And these are just such a beautiful formula. I haven't tried anything like this, to be honest. Before this was released, I have so many other liquid lipsticks. But just the finish and the feel of this formula is like no other. It is so beautiful in terms of pigmentation and color that comes from everything from a bright poppy red to a dark maroon red to pinks. But the finish itself, it's really light and it literally stays nice and smooth. And while it dries, it doesn't dry to that point of being that chapped dry feeling. It just stays really hydrated. And I think that's why I love them so much. I always reach for this when I'm looking for my red liquid lip and it has never failed me. My favorite high-end liquid lipstick would have to be the NARS Velvet Lip Glide Lipsticks. They are just so beautiful. The formula is like no other I have ever tried. I clearly have a type because I really like the velvet finish of these liquid lipsticks but what I also love is the applicator. I love how it's round rather than that square doe foot as it really kind of gets into the curves of your lips and creates a really nice full effect but ultimately I just love the formula. They aren't drying at all but they have that nice liquid lipstick finish and they are super popular. I think they sold out straight away at Mecca. Um, I only managed to get my hands on two, but when they're restocked, I'll be, be sure to get many more. The last step in a makeup application would be a setting spray. And my favorite drugstore one would have to be the NYX Matte Finish Spray, which I was kindly gifted in the Bloggers United Kris Kringle last year. I love this spray. I have not stopped using it. It's really easy to apply. It sprays beautifully over the face to create that nice veil. It does set matte, which is perfect. I love that, so it eliminates any shine. And it really keeps my makeup lasting all day and night. My favorite high-end setting spray would have to be the Estee Lauder Set and Refresh Spray. And the reason that I love this one is because it is multi-purpose. So not only can you use it to set your makeup, but you can use it at the start of a makeup application or at any time during the day to hydrate and refresh the skin. And that's a wrap. My 2016 best of makeup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If we shared any of the same favorites, let me know in the links below or share your favorites below so I can check them out too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join me on my beautiful adventure.